Hey, Shalom Israel. Captain OC. Officer Baruch. Today's is 15 minutes with the captains. Today's topic is conspiracy theories confounded. That's right. Conspiracy theories confounded. We know we got a lot of stuff going on right now. The world is popping off. We got COVID-19. Mm -hmm. We got martial law. Mm -hmm. We got the Stafford Act. We got 5G. We got FEMA camps. We got a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to see, does the Bible speak about conspiracy theories? And what is the truth behind it? What is, what, what, why is this so enticing to us as a people? Mm -hmm. Let's get the definition of what a conspiracy theory is before we get started. Because some of you may not know what it is. Read that. Conspiracy theory. Uh -huh. Definition of conspiracy theory. A theory that explains an event or set of circumstances as the result of a secret plot by usually powerful conspirators. Mm, so it's a, what does it say? A what? A secret plot mm -hmm. by powerful conspirators. So we're going to see who was the secret plot against and who are the powerful conspirators or conspirators. So let's get into it. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17 and verse 12. One thing you'll find out with every conspiracy theory, it's always a boogeyman theory. What does it mean? They want you to be scared. Right. I can't tell you how many videos I watch. You got, you got bombs crashing. You got planes going into buildings. And what do you see? Somebody who you can't see right. speaking about something behind the screen. Oh, and this happened and that happened and this. What? Where's the faith and the peace in that? Where's right. Jesus Christ in that message? Right. You won't find it. Read that. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17 and verse 12. Uh huh. For fear is nothing else uh -huh. but a betraying of the succors which reason offers. So fear is the betraying of the succors or the help which reason offers. Who's our help? The Most High God. So what's behind the, the doctrine of conspiracy theories? It's fear. Mm. They want to put you in a position where you move out of fear. You're not moving out of the love of God out of the love of the brethren, out of the love of keeping the commandments. No, you're moving out of fear. Whatever they want to put in your mind, that's how you're going to move. They tell you they finna shut everything down, you go crazy, you lose your mind. They tell you you're going to get a virus, you go buy every, you go buy up all the toilet paper. They controlling your mindset through fear. You have forgotten who your help is. All right, from there, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Let's see, what does God say about the spirit of fear? The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For God have not given us the spirit of fear. For what? For God have not given us the spirit of fear, uh -huh. but of power uh -huh. and of love uh -huh. and of a sound mind. And of a sound mind. That's something you will never get when you're in the midst of studying these videos right. and reading these books. You never have a sound mind. You are all over the place. One day, is hey, this is going to happen on May. Remember the dates? They used to come out with the mm -hmm. dates. May 21st, 2012. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, it's going to be September 10th, 2015. Oh, no. Yeah. It's going to be 2020. Mm -hmm. You don't never have a sound mind when you're in the midst of this. This stuff is to keep you in fear and away from the real conspiracy, which we're going to get into. You guys that? No, sir. All right. From there, we're going to show you in the scriptures what the end game of these conspiracy theories are. Give me Nehemiah chapter 6 and verse 1. We're going to read all the way down to verse 13. So I need you to read a little fast. I'm going to show you what's behind the conspiracy theories and why is it so prevalent, especially amongst black men. Black men, you tell them Jesus is black, they don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right. You talk about FEMA camps? Oh, yeah, I, I, I watched a video on that. You talk about uh, COVID-19, it was in the TV show three years ago. Oh, they know about that. You tell, you tell, they know about all that stuff. Right. Ask them about Jesus Christ. Ask them who the Israelites are. They will not be able to tell you. Right. That's a conspiracy. Read that, but we're going to show you one. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 6 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Now it came to pass when Sambalot and Tobiah and Geshem, the Arabian and the rest of our enemies heard that I built the wall uh -huh. and that there was no breach left therein, though at the time I had not set up the doors upon the gate. Read. That Sambalot and Gishon sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some in someone of the villages in the plain of Ono. Uh -huh. But they thought to do me mischief. They thought to do the prophet of God mischief. Read. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Uh -huh. Why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? Right. Why should I stop 
meditating in these scriptures to watch a three hour video on how the food is defiled. Right. To watch a 20 hour session on how uh, Barack Obama is really not an American citizen and this and that. Right. What is that going to do for me? Read. Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort, uh -huh. and I answered them after the same manner. So they came four, my, four more times. Read. Then Sambalot, his servant, unto me. Then sent Sambalot, his servant, unto me in like manner in the fifth time. They came five times to try to stop him. Read. With an open letter in his hand, wherein was written, it is reported among the heathen, and Gashmu saith it, that thou and the Jews think to rebel, for which cause thou biddest the wall, that thou mayest be the, their king, according to these words. Uh -huh. And thou hast also appointed prophets to preach of thee at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, and now shall it be reported to the king according to these words. Uh -huh. Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. Read. Then I sent unto him, saying, There are no such things done as thou sayest, but thou feignest them out of thine own heart. They were making up lies. Read. For they are made us, for they all made us afraid. For they what? All made us afraid. Uh huh. Saying, Their hands shall be weakened from the work. They were bringing things to them to make them afraid. It was a fear tactic of the heathen, so they would stop doing the work read that it be not done now therefore O oh god strengthen my hands uh -huh. afterward i came unto the house of uh, shemiah the son of deliah the son of mahatabel who was shut up uh -huh. and he said let us meet together in the house of god so this brother was scared he said let us meet together in the house of god read within the temple uh -huh. and let us shut the doors of the temple uh -huh. for they will come to slay thee Yea, in the night will they come to slay thee. So he was scared. He's sitting in his house worried. Right. What does that sound like? It's 5G out there. There's a coronavirus out there. There's a FEMA camps. Damn. I saw the tanks outside. Oh, no. It's, it's, we can't do nothing. Right. What are we going to do? Read. Verse 11. Uh-huh. And I said, should such a man as I flee? Should such a man as I flee? Read. And who is there? That being as, a, as, as I am, uh -huh. will go into the temple to save his life. Uh -huh. I will not go in. He said, in. I'm not going nowhere to hide from nobody. I'm going to stand boldly for the most high. Read. And lo, I perceived that God had not sent him, uh -huh. but, that the, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me. Uh -huh. For Tobiah and Sambalot had hired for what? him. Tobiah and Sambalot had hired they him. They hired men to do what? Read. Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid. That what? I should be afraid. That's what all of these videos are about. Instilling fear in your hearts and minds of the people. Not only do we have fear now of whatever going on on the outside, right. but you have fear of becoming an Israelite. That's why they, 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 they label us as what? A hate group. They try to put us in videos. Hey, if you join that group, you're going to lose your job. Right. You can't work. Nobody's going to like you. You're going to be hated. It's all about a fear tactic. Read. And do so and sin. And what? And sin. Uh-huh. And that they might have matter for an evil report that they might reproach me. So, read verse 14. Verse 14. Uh-huh. My God, think upon Tobiah and Sambalot according to their work. Uh -huh. These their works. And on the prophet, and on the prophetess, Noadiah. Uh-huh. And the rest of the prophets. And the rest of the prophets what? That would have put me in fear. That would have put me in fear. So when you're reading this, it wasn't worried about the fear of the Lord. They were concerned about the fear of men and mm. what men could do to them. Go to Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 25. So we're going into the conspiracy theories for you men and women out there that are so worried about the secret plots of the heathen. Guess what? The Bible already talks about it. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 25. Uh -huh. The fear of man bringeth a snare. The fear of man bringeth a snare. Why? Because now you're worried. Now you're, you're worried. You're, you're second guessing every decision you make. Read. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord. But whoso what? Putteth his trust in the Lord. Read. Shall be saved. You see that? You put your trust in the Lord, you're not worried about nothing. You're meditating on the scriptures, how he's going to be our protection. How he'll put his... His angels around us. You're not worrying about all this stuff. From there, 
Read the definition of uh, um, conspiracy theory again. Conspiracy theory. Uh Uh-huh. A theory that explains an event or set of circumstances as the result of a secret plot by usually powerful conspirators. Powerful conspirators. Go to Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. I want to show you the Bible outlines conspiracy theories. Yes, they are real. Are you, should you be worried about them? Should you be uh, so concerned about these things that you can't now? You can't go to the school. Right. You don't show up for the Sabbath. You don't go to camp. You don't keep the commandments anymore. Why? Because you're in a spirit of fear. Read mm. that. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Uh-huh. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh-huh. but against principalities. But against what? Principalities. Uh-huh. Against powers. Against what? Powers. Remember it said powerful conspirators. Read. Against the rulers of darkness uh-huh. of this world. Read. Against spiritual wickedness uh-huh. in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Places the Bible already outlined this. Well, that's why we don't. When I'm when I'm when I'm hearing people bug out about conspiracy, I'm like, Have you read the Bible? Right. Have you read the Bible? If you have, you would know what the biggest conspiracy is of all time. Give me Psalms chapter eighty three and verse one. I'm gonna show you. This is the conspiracy that they don't put. They don't have a million of these videos out there. You won't see the white man behind the mask when you can't see him, and he's telling you, Yes, the children of Israel. They are the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Where are those being shared every day on everybody's Facebook? You won't find it. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 83 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Keep not thou silence, O God. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. Uh-huh. And be not still, O God. Read. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Thy what? Thine enemies make a tumult. Thine enemies make a tumult. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel. Remember, it said a what? Secret plot. Mm -hmm. A secret plot. The Bible calls it crafty counsel. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. And what? Consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones on the face of the earth? If you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the ones that don't know who you are. Read. They have said, come. And let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That is the conspiracy theory that you should be concerned about. You learning what your true nationality is. You learning what your true identity is. You learning what the true color of Christ is and what you must do to receive repentance. That's the biggest conspiracy on the face of the earth. Read that again. For they said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, Uh that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The conspiracy is to keep you away from your true nationality. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. They have consulted together with one consent. Read. They are confederate against thee. And they are confederate against thee. Meaning they have conspired together with the theory of what? Keeping you away from who you are. First Ezra chapter 5 and verse 72. Because it said a secret plot by high conspirators. The Bible said that we, 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 battle, we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. Read that. The book of First Ezra chapter 5 and verse 72. Uh-huh. But the heathen of the land laying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judah. Read. And holding them straight. And holding them straight. What? Hindered their building. They what? Hindered their building. They hindered the building of the Israelites. That's the same thing you're seeing today. With what? School to prison pipeline. Uh, the, the the worry about FEMA camps. Right. Unequal he- uh, education. Une- unequal health care. So on and so forth. They are trying to hinder our building. Read. And by their secret plot. And by what? Their secret plot. The Bible speaks about secret plots. Read. And popular persuasion. Uh-huh. And commotion. Read. They hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. Read. So they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius. You see that? They used conspiracies against us for what was the sole purpose? To hinder the building of Jerusalem. That's what this thing is about, ladies and gentlemen. You got to wake up. 
Everything revolves around the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Right. You are the apple of God's eye. Everything else is nonsense. Don't fall for it. From there, go to the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 12. So it's not a, it, we're not concerned or scared when we see uh, the water is poisoned in Flint, Michigan. Right. We know about that. We're not concerned when we see the, the, the rate of blacks being in prison is three, four times of every other nationality. We know that. Why? Because we hide in the secret place of the Lord, which is the Bible. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 37 and verse 12. Uh-huh. The wicked plotteth against the just. The what? The wicked plotteth against the, the just. The Bible says that the wicked plot against the just. We understand that. Read. And gnashing, gnashing upon him with his teeth. Uh-huh. From there, go to Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 1. And we're going to read down to verse 6. Psalms, chapter 64. Verse 1, and we're going to read the 6. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 64, and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Uh -huh. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Hide me from the what? Secret counsel of the wicked. So we understand your Rothschilds. We understand your Freemasons. We understand... Uh, all these different, the, the, the United uh, Nations, mm -hmm. we understand this. We're not scared of this stuff. Read. From the insurrection of the workers From of iniquity. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So those that create sin, they are all together on one accord. Mm -hmm. The Bible outlines it. Read. Who wet their tongue like a sword. Uh-huh. And bent their bows to shoot their arrows. Read? Even bitter words. Even bitter words. What? They say that what? We're a hate group. Mm -hmm. They say that what? We're racist. All these things are to distract you. To keep you away from who you truly are. Read? That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Uh -huh. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Read. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. That's where you get what? Your GMOs. All these different things that they do to hinder us. Read. They commune of laying snares privily. Uh-huh. They say, who shall see them? They say what? Who shall see them? We see them. But those that are you, you worrying about a FEMA camp, you ain't looking at what they're doing to the, to the word of God. Mm -hmm. You ain't seeing that you got a white Jesus and there ain't no scripture nowhere in there. Right. You reading John three sixteen, but there's no understanding of what you are reading. Why? Because you weren't about five G. You weren't about coronavirus. You weren't about can you get toilet paper? Read verse six. They search out iniquity. Uh huh. They accomplish a diligent search. Uh huh. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. When we understand that their plots and their plans are very very coordinated and they are very very deep, they are ten steps ahead of you. You can watch as many. You, you think you're going to find out what the, the, the most powerful men on the face of the earth, they're going to give you their plan on a YouTube video. Right. And somehow, everybody knows about the plot, and they put it out there every week. Oh, yeah. Hey, they're going to, uh, next week, the, the government is going to uh, issue a lockdown for the whole world. Mm -hmm. Somehow, Ray Ray and Pookie know this. How did this happen? Come on, now. Y'all got to think about this. That's a plot in itself. From there, go to Micah 2 and 1. Micah chapter 2 and verse 1. The biggest conspiracy is to keep you away from who you are. And I'm going to keep saying that. Read that. The book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Woe to them that devise iniquity uh -huh. and work evil upon their bed. Uh-huh. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Because it is in the power of their hand. They have the power to push whatever they want. We're seeing it right now. We're seeing... They can call it a quarantine. Right. We understand this is martial law, or whatever you want to call it. We're not concerned because we understand the scriptures. All right. From there, go to uh, Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Let me show you. So now we showed you. We already understand the plots. We see it. The Bible outlines it. Now, what do you do? Do you sit there and you're scared and you, and you, and you, and you turn your lights off and you go to sleep all day and night? Right. Let's see what God says. The book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 12. Uh -huh. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. The Bible says that he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Read. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Read. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Read. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. You see that? Whatever plot they have against us, against the nation of Israel... God is going to cast it down. 
Understand that. And that's the faith you got to have. Go to Psalms 33 and verse 10. It says he disappointed the plots of the wicked. That's what the Most High God does. Why? Because if you understand the Bible, he created them. There's nothing that any man or any woman can do that he doesn't ordain them in doing. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 33 and verse 10. Uh-huh. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He does what? Bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. So they created uh, the coronavirus. And then when you go to Africa, they got 15 cases. Come on. How is that? And they always, whenever an a, a outbreak comes with viruses, it's to attack the black man, oh, Hispanic yeah. man. Because remember, at first, we said we couldn't get it. Right. So what they had to do? They had to strengthen that thing. Mm -hmm. But we understand the plots behind it. We know who they're shooting at. It ain't for their people. It's against us. From there, go to Isaiah 45 and 7. This is for those of you out there who are scared of what's going on. You, you, you're crying for God to send stuff the other way. I don't want to go into martial law. I don't want to be in the staff. I don't. Let me show you what God says. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 7. Uh huh. I form the light. Uh huh. And create darkness. Uh huh. I make peace. Uh huh. And create evil. And what? And create evil. He creates the evil on the earth. Nobody is doing anything unless they get it ran by the Most High God. Unless He gives them the okay. Read that again. I form the light uh -huh. and create darkness. Read. I make peace and I and create evil. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the Lord, do all these things. Job 2 and 10. Let me show you. Because a lot of people, the reason why you're upset, you're, you, you don't know what's going on, is because you don't know the God you serve. He's the same God that sent 10 plagues upon the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. What's one plague to him? What's a coronavirus? That's nothing to the Most High God. He just getting started. Read that. The book of Job, chapter 2 and verse 10. Uh -huh. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaking. Uh -huh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? Shall we only receive good at the hand of God? Read. And shall not receive evil? And not receive evil? Is he not the same God that delivered the, Egypt, uh, <laughs> delivered the Israelites, mm -hmm. but also killed off the Egyptians? Yep. There's a winner and loser in everything. Understand that. From there, go to Isaiah. Chapter 26 and verse 3. So, what should be our mindset as we go through these things and as the plagues continue to increase on the earth? As more conspiracy theories continue to show up. Like I said, the Bible outlines the conspiracy theory. We're not concerned with it. Do the work of, the, of, of an evangelist. Right. Make your calling and election sure. That's our advice to you. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. Uh-huh. That will keep him in perfect peace. That will what? Keep him in perfect the peace. The Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace. Read. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Now, how your mind going to be stayed on the scriptures and stayed on God if you're watching five-hour YouTube videos right. all day? If every time you turn on the news, there's how many coronavirus deaths you don't see. Right. You ain't stayed in the scriptures. Read that again. That will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Read. Because he trusteth in thee. Because you trust in him. First Peter chapter five and verse seven. We almost done. We got two more scriptures. So understand everything that's done in the earth. It's already prophesied of in the scriptures. All we have to do is sit back, relax and make sure we are applying and reading the scriptures. It says watch and pray. Read that. The book of first Peter chapter five and verse seven. Uh huh. Casting all your care upon him. Why? For he careth for you. You see that? Cast all your cares upon Christ because he cares for us. 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 8. Let me show you something. It's very heavy because I know a lot of our brothers and sisters are worried about what's going on. We see the things that are taking place on the earth. Brothers and sisters are worried about food. They're worried about shelter. They're worried about their jobs. Right. Understand the Most High God is undefeated. He has never lost one battle on the face of the earth, unless he wanted us to lose a battle. Understand it. Read that. Second Kings chapter six, start at verse eight. Verse Second Kings six and eight. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel uh -huh. and took counsel with the servants, Read. saying, "And such and such a place shall be my camp." Read. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, "Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down." So. Uh, I think this is Elijah, or uh, yeah, this is Elijah, right? Yes, Elisha. So this is Elisha. Elisha 
understood what the Syrians were going to be. And he warned the king of Israel, hey, don't go to this place because they're going to visit there. Read. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there, not once nor twice. Read. Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing. Uh -huh. And he called his servant and said unto them, will ye now show me which of us is for the king of Israel. So he was like, how does he know what we're going to be moving? How are he mobilizing his men every single time? He was like, which one of you are a spy for the nation of Israel? Read. And one of his servants said, none, my lord, O king. But Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, uh -huh. telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. So they knew that Elisha had power. They said, man, that, that dude Elisha is telling them where we going. Because he's a man of God. Read. And he said, go and spy where he is, mm -hmm. and I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. Uh-huh. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? So Elisha's servant saw all of these chariots and horses from the Syrian army. And he was worried. He was concerned. Just like a lot of you brothers and sisters today. You're seeing everything that's going on and you have begun to lose faith. Read. And he answered, fear not for that, for they that be with us are uh -huh. more than they would that be with them. You see that? Read that again. Fear not for they that be with us. They that be with us. Read. Are more than they that be with them. No matter what conspiracy theories are going on. Understand there's more of us than they are of them. Read. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee open his eyes uh -huh. that he may see. You see that? Open his eyes that he may see. Read. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. So he had to have his spiritual eyes open to see that the Most High was going to protect him. No matter what it looks like out there, Israel, understand the secret plots, the conspiracy theories, they will not work against the children of Israel. Uh, in Matthew 16 and 18, he said, I built my, 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 my church upon Peter, and it will not, what he said, the gates of hell will, will not, not prevail it. against it. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10 and verse 5. Last scripture, all right? Last scripture, conspiracy theories confounded. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10 and verse 5. Yep. Moreover. The nations in their wicked conspiracy. Hold on. The what? The nations in their wicked conspiracy. The nations and their wicked conspiracies. Read. Being confounded. Being what? Confounded. Being confounded. It was done before and it'll be done again. Read. She found out the righteous mm -hmm. and preserved him, him blameless unto God uh -huh. and kept him strong against his tender compassion toward his son. You see that? The same way he protected us against the wicked conspiracies in the past. He'll do the same thing today. So there's no need to worry. All right, with that, we say shalom. Shalom, Israel. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.